मैं डॉक्टर आरिफ अहमद हाजिर हूँ एलर्जी की जानकारी के साथ आम जनता के लिए और आज हम चर्चा करेंगे एलर्जी टेस्ट और एलर्जी वैक्सीन के बारे में और इसमें कई मेडिकल टर्म्स होने की वजह से हम इसके बारे में चर्चा करेंगे अंग्रेजी में और इसके लिए हमारे साथ एक खास मेहमान है मिस मारिया सदीकी शी इज अ ब्राइट फाइनल ईयर मेडिकल स्टूडेंट वही क्यों मिस मारिया सदीकी टू अर शो थैंक यू डॉक्टर आरिफ I've gone through the six videos that you uploaded, and you've addressed almost everything regarding allergy except food allergy. Yeah, we'll be addressing it subsequently. Yeah. So, um, I just had a few questions that I'd like to discuss with you today. Um, about investigations, are there any investigations that we need to do to diagnose allergic diseases? Well, it's a simple no to find out whether you have an allergy of the nose, lung, skin, or the intestine. We don't need to investigate. It's all clinical on the basis of a good history. You can say whether you have an allergy or not. But to find out what allergy you have, you need to investigate. जैसे कि किस चीज की allergy है. Okay. So how do you go about this investigation? Well, there are two certain ways: a blood test and a skin prick test. Okay. So what's better? Wouldn't a blood test be easier? But the skin prick test is definitely cheaper, easier, and more reliable. But not everybody is trained to do a skin prick test. Ideally, it should be done by a doctor and not by a technician, because the interpretation is more important. And you don't have trained allergists available at all times, so you are left with no option than to do a blood test. So okay. So, um, are there any precautions that we have to take during these tests? I mean, can I get the blood test done anywhere? But that's a very good question. There are many tests which are advertised in the newspapers. You should never fall into the trap of going for these advertisements. You should always get these blood tests at a standardized laboratory by a standardized method. Okay, but how would I, as a lay person? Know that this is a standardized method. Well, what I see basically is whether when the report comes to me, whether it is being done by the FEIA method. And well, a rough way of looking at it is that if the report shows that the patient has been tested against chemicals such as perfumes, deodorants, soap, benzene, and so on, then this report cannot be relied upon because all these substances are chemicals. And they do not produce IgE antibodies, and therefore is fake, and it should be dumped into the garbage. The other thing is also, if the report has been tested against drugs, then they should not be relied upon because testing of drugs is not approved internationally. Okay, so I understand that if given a choice, always pick skin prick testing over blood testing. Yes, definitely, a skin prick test would be better than a blood test. Except in certain cases of food testing, they have a new test called as component analysis. For example, in cases of peanut, we need to find out whether it is a stable allergen or whether it is the unstable allergen. For example, if the peanut is positive for the stable component, that this patient can develop anaphylaxis or a severe reaction, cannot take peanut in the cooked form, and will never outgrow the peanut allergy. But if the test shows that The patient is positive for the unstable component of peanut. That this patient can take peanut in the cooked form, will get a mild reaction, and with time will outgrow the peanut allergy. Oh, so is such a test available? Yes, is the latest test, but very few centers in India are doing it. But we are doing it on a regular basis, and in fact, our paper on cow's milk allergy was given the award for the outstanding paper. In the European Academy of Allergy and Immunology conference held at Hamburg this year in June. Wow. Okay. So, how would you be doing a skin prick test? Well, it's very simple. The patient just should not be on any anti-allergy medication like antihistamines, like fexofenadine or bilastin, or for at least a minimum of five to seven days. And if you allow me, I can just you know demonstrate on you. Sure. I just was cleaning the part. After cleaning the part. I make a circle out there, okay, and in that circle, I place the allergen like this on top of the allergen. I will immediately after placing the allergen, I will prick the allergen, just lifting, gentle lifting of the skin, like this. That's it. In addition, there is also the prick to prick method, 
when you prick a vegetable or a fresh fruit you just prick it when you prick the skin wait for 20 minutes and see for a reaction wow that's amazing do these have any advantages over these rea- reagents but like definitely this is a pure form of the allergen and is definitely more easier to access but are these safe oh yes they are definitely very safe there have never been any cases of any adverse reactions following these tests okay so i understand that people who have hypertension and diabetes they're on medications throughout their life so just like that somebody who has allergy is this a nice norm thing well the answer is a simple yes or a no also allergy is a lifelong disorder if you are able to avoid the allergy then you're safe but a certain allergies like dust mites which you just cannot avoid but now we have a vaccine against such allergies which if you take and you're protected you develop tolerance and you're safe how effective are they when just as the covid vaccine if you have taken two doses of a covid vaccine you will never die or you, you will never get a severe form of covid but if you go inside a covid unit without wearing a mask then there's a possibility that you might get a mild form of covid fortunately for covid vaccine you have only two doses while for allergy you need to take monthly injections for almost 3 to 5 years oh why so long well you will develop this immunity with these monthly injections almost 6 months but you will lose immunity if you don't take these monthly injections for at least or for a period of 3 to 5 years so oh, are they safe and is there any other method available well they are very safe and safe hands however there are also tablets available which are very costly not so easily available but they need to be taken on a daily basis Well, thank you so much, Dr. Arif. You really gave me an insight today about the investigations that are there for allergy. And it satisfies me a lot to know that there's actually a permanent solution for this disease. Thank you. So, oh, I'm really, very really thankful to you, Varya, for your presence out here. And I really appreciate all your questions. And I hope all these two have light uh, answers. And this was our seventh episode of Allergy. हमने आपसे चर्चा की है एलर्जी के टेस्ट और एलर्जी के वैक्सीन के बारे में और हमें उम्मीद है आपको पसंद आया होगा और हमारी आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है इसे आप लाइक करें और शेयर करें क्योंकि सारी वीडियोस बनाने का हमारा सिर्फ एक ही मकसद है कि एलर्जी की जानकारी ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा लोगों तक पहुँचाए और चिराग से चिराग जलाए